My name's Mike Stewart. I'm with Test Products International. Today we're going to demonstrate the SP620 digital manometer. This manometer has a range of up to 60 inches, and like all TPI manometers, it is temperature compensated. That means that it's going to maintain its accuracy from 32 to 104 degrees Fahrenheit or 0 to 40 degrees Celsius. So whether or not you're on a rooftop unit in the heat of the summer or in colder weather, it's going to maintain its accuracy. Now on this furnace here, we got a two-stage furnace. We're going to be setting low and high fire gas pressures. This one has a propane conversion in it. So what we're going to be looking for is 5.8 inches on low fire and up to 11 inches on high fire. Now most furnaces, uh, gas valves will take this 1 8 MPT. Now these new ones and a lot of the replacement valves don't have that 1 8 MPT on there. So what we're using is a, uh, an adapter, it's called the A820, and this adapts to these type of uh, gas valves, and it just slides on right there. First thing we're going to do is uh, crack the valve, get my Allen key, unlock it, and then we'll be ready to hook up the manometer. Now with our manometer turned on, and connected to our smart device. We zeroed the readings. We're in inches of water column. This is capable of doing seven units of measure. So whatever scale you'd like, it's available. We just have to fire the furnace now. I'm gonna take the cap off for our low fire adjustment, and then we'll do the high fire adjustment. The furnace is now fired. It's asking for 5.8 inches. We're at 5.6. We'll see if we can do a fine adjustment here. Five point seven two, that's close enough. Anyways, now we can create a report on this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this low fire. And then we're going to save this to the job. I've already set the job up. It's Mike Stewart. This is my house. And now we've saved that report. Now we've gone up to high fire. Again. Take the cover off for the adjustment. And this here we're looking for 11 inches or just shy. We don't want to overfire it. 10.87, that's great. Create a report. I'm gonna call this high fire. Set. And again, save to the job. Now that we've set low fire and high fire, we'll disconnect the manometer. Remember, put the covers back on the set screws. At this point, we can disconnect the manometer. Tighten up the valve. And we're done. Besides doing gas pressure with the manometer, this is a good thing with, with an extra T here. You could uh, monitor a pressure switch. And also with the optional uh, static tips, we could measure static pressure or uh, pressure drop over a filter or a coil. Also balancing HRVs. Most manuals require a magnahelic gauge. So as long as your uh, manometer has the accuracy and the resolution, great application for it. 